Welcome back to Squawk Box. After years of little growth, personal finance education in American classrooms is rising. That's the good news. It's according to the Council for Economic Education's latest survey. It is out today. And joining us now to talk about those findings is Nan Morrison, President and CEO of the Council for Economic Education. Good morning to you, Nan. This is good news. We need financial literacy in America more than ever. And um, it's something that's been a long time coming. Tell us about the results. Good morning, Andrew. Thanks so much for having me. And yes, we do. This is a momentum story for the survey of the states. Five new states have passed requirements in personal finance, three in economics. So we're seeing a rising tide and we see the momentum going. So what, what does that actually, though, manifest itself in, in terms of what that looks like? Is that a class in high school? Is that a class in middle school? What, what does it mean? So, so we objectively measure what states are doing from whether they even have standards to having a full required class. So right now, 21 out of the 50 states require a course in personal finance for you to graduate. 25 require that in economics. And that's really important for all students so if they have access to this information. And that's another big part of this story is who's getting access. What do you learn in a personal finance class? So you're learning how to balance a checkbook or, you know, buy versus rent. What, what's in it? So I, I think nobody's teaching about checkbooks anymore because very few of us use them. Even I don't use them. But most kids today certainly won't have to worry about a checkbook. But we're teaching really good decision making skills around the basic things that you would you would assume. So credit, debt, interest, compound interest, risk, insurance investments so that all of our young people can grow up and watch right. CNBC and know what you're all talking about. Now, what do we have to do to get the rest of the states to do this? Because you know this is one of my hobby horses. All I want to do is get this country and young people to understand what financial education means, because I think it's not just, by the way, about your own personal finances. It's about your understanding of the news, about policy, about everything that's going on in this country. And if you don't know the basics, you can't be part of the conversation. That's exactly right. Uh, education in this country is local. So one of the things that everyone can do, every parent, every teacher, every principal, is say, we want to put this in our school. And even if your state doesn't requirement, require that class, you can get it into the classroom in your school. At the higher state level, we're seeing state treasurers pick up the charge on this, other state education officials. So, so rally with those people to get them to move forward. We're doing four or five convenings this year across the country in different states that are already gathering their own momentum to help them move the ball forward on this front. Okay, uh, Nan, thank you. You're fighting a good fight. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for all your help. We appreciate okay. it.